Welcome! Here is a video about the Parallel Artificial Membrane Permeability Assay, or PEMPA. Permeability is an important physiochemical property of a drug, governing the availability of the drug in the systemic circulation. PEMPA is a method that determines the permeability of substances from a donor compartment through a lipid-infused artificial membrane into a acceptor compartment. A multi-well microtitrate plate is used for the donor, and the membrane acceptor compartment is placed on top. The whole assembly is commonly referred to as a sandwich. The donor and or receptor compartments may contain solubilizing agents or additives that bind the drugs as they permeate. To improve the in vitro in vivo correlation and performance of the PEMPA method, the liquid, pH, and chemical composition of the system is often designed with biomimetic considerations in mind. To date, PEMPA models have been developed to exhibit a high degree of correlation with permeation across a variety of barriers, including KCO2 cell culture, the gastrointestinal tract, blood-brain barrier, and skin. PEMPA is cost-effective, easy to automate, and compatible for a high percentage of solubilizers. PEMPA has good day-to-day -day reproducibility and small variability. The cost of PEMPA is more than tenfold lower than that of KCO2 permeability assay. The PEMPA membrane can be instantly prepared at the time of use, while KCO2 requires a 2-3 to three days culture before use. PEMPA enables the studies of passive transcellular permeation without intervention by paracellular and active transports. A limitation of PEMPA is that the membrane is not exactly the same as the biological membrane. The PEMPA membrane contains an organic solvent, possibly resulting in a non-bilayer membrane structure. In addition, PEMPA has neither active transport systems nor a paracellular pathway. The in vivo prediction accuracy of PEMPA is comparable to or less than KCO2. PEMPA and KCO2 tests can be complementary tests to determine both passive and active permeability. KCO2 tests alone measures the sum of passive and active permeability, which cannot be decoupled without information obtained from the PEMPA tests. The available PEMPA models Original PEMPA The lipid solution consists of 10% lecithin in dodecane. DOPC PEMPA The lipid solution consists of 2% DOPC in dodecane. HDM PEMPA, the lipid solution is 100% hexadecan. Biomimetic PEMPA, or BM PEMPA, the lipid solution consists of a mixture of PC, PE, PS, PI, and cholesterol in an organic solvent. Double sink PEMPA, or DS PEMPA, the lipid solution consists of 20% dodecan solution of a phospholipid mixture and the acceptor solution contains the surfactant mixture. The general procedure of PEMPA permeability assay includes Prepare solutions Prepare a membrane plate Load sample plates Run assay And analyze Prepare solutions Prepare target analytes Typically from a stock concentration in DMSO to a dilution of 1 to 10 micromolar in a buffer of 1x PBS, pH 7.4, and 5% DMSO. Prepare a 1% lexithin and dodecane solution in a Eppendorf tube, and sonicate until fully mixed. Prepare membrane plate. Using a pipette, single or multi-channel, Gently dispense 5 microliter of 1% lactating dodecane solution onto donor plate membrane. Load sample plates. 
using a multi-channel pipette and solvent reservoir. Dispense 300 microliter of 1xPBS 5% DMSO buffer into the scepter plate wells. Using a multi-channel pipette, transfer 150 microliter of the 10 micromolar analytes in 1xPBS 5% DMSO into the donor plate wells. Run assay. Gently lower the donor plate wells into the scepter plate wells. Gently transfer the assembly to a moist separate chamber. Allow assembly to sit for 10 to 20 hours. Analyze, calculate. Transfer 100 microliter from each well to a labeled 96 well plate for HPLC MS injection. Analyze all samples within 24 to 48 hours after running the assay. For more information, please contact Creative Bioarray. Thank you.